Hi, this is Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Just a little short video, hopefully, on the alignment and distribution tool. Let's say you've got these odd shaped rectangles and squares you've drawn, and you want them all to the top of the, you know, equal across the top. Well, you could spend a long time, and you could do it with your X, Y, and move them around, but if you group them all, select them all, and just hit T, the letter T on your keyboard, they will all magically arrange themselves. Let's So let's do another one. Let's say you've got them this way, and you've got them all spread out over the page, and you want to select them all, just hit L on your keyboard, and it'll move them magically left. So now let's take them apart and do this and hit R on your keyboard. And now the right side has been centered. So let's take those away. Another thing real quick, uh, hold down your control button to draw a circle. Make a duplicate, and I've got mine where it just sets it on top of itself. So there's a couple ways you could move the duplicate over, but, you know, real quick, I always just move things over. And that doesn't look too bad horizontally, but it's a little off. So same thing. Zoom in here a little bit. So you can see they're not where well, they actually are. Let's get that one out of the way. But same thing. Just grab them all. T on your keyboard. Arrange and distribute. And you really have to do this to get spacing. There you go. Now let's say you've got a, you want to make a weird shape. And I'm going to show you how to use the smart fill tool. So you've got a circle. And a lot of people don't realize this. You could get a smart fill tool and get that in the center and then take your smart fill tool, hit your space bar, and now you've got that shape. But you can also, when you grab your eclipse tool, go up here to the pie, control button. You've got that same, well, matter of fact, it's perfect where mine's not perfect. And then you can actually change that uh, what's neat about it, like mine, you can't really change. But this one, you can go, go to the Eclipse tool, and let's say you want it oh, close just a little bit more. You just rotate these numbers. And of course, when you get to 360, it's going to go back to a circle. But it's going to have a line in it. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.